buttery seared salmon with artichokes and white wine. I'm seasoning my salmon, and this is a very elegant, light dish, and I think it's perfect for our boat cruise. So I've started heating up my pan. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to it, and we're gonna pan sear them. Let's sear these babies. See how beautiful that is? I'm gonna season the other side. And I really like to season the salmon really well so it's got a salty crust on it. While the salmon starts to sear, what I'm gonna do when I flip it is baste it with a little bit of butter and oregano. So I want to chop up a little bit of this fresh oregano. And the oregano is very pungent. You could use dried oregano, just remember that it's a lot stronger, so you don't wanna use quite as much. But the fresh works really well with the salmon. It's nice and clean. We're gonna add white wine. The artichokes give it this lemony, almost licorice -y flavor to it, which I really like. Okay, so we've got that. We're gonna add two whole stalks to it just to infuse in the oil and the butter, and then we're gonna chop one stalk to really coat the fish. So until that's ready, we're gonna start on the shallot because we're gonna cook the artichokes with a little bit of shallot and some spinach and some sweet sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, our shallot is done. Let's flip the fish. Nice golden color on it. Yeah, baby! Okay, we're going to add a little bit of butter and the oregano, just like that. And the rest of the oregano, look how pretty that is. So pretty. We're gonna melt the butter and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna baste it a little bit. That sort of butter, olive oil mix with the oregano, we're gonna baste the fish. And that's just to add more flavor. Kinda like when it's Thanksgiving and you're basting a turkey, same idea. I do this with eggs too, when I make fried eggs. Keeps it nice and moist, gives it a beautiful sheen. All right. My salmon's ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the salmon out along with the oregano. There we go. Perfect, look how gorgeous that is. It smells divine. Okay, so now that we've got this, we're gonna add a little bit more oil. And I am going to add the shallots and the artichokes. About nine ounces of frozen and thawed artichoke hearts. And start sauteing them a little bit. Frozen vegetables are totally great to use. Um, you just have to make sure you season them well. And then we're gonna add one of my favorite ingredients, sun-dried tomatoes. I just love the sweet, rich flavor that they add to dishes. We're gonna add three quarters of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Super fast. And then we're gonna deglaze with a little bit of white wine to sort of start creating a nice little sauce for the salmon. Perfect. A great cocktail with this particular dish would be my uh, Prosecco Sangria. It would really round this off really well. Okay, so that's done. Now, we're gonna add some spinach and butter to finish this off. We make this in Vegas and it's a very, very popular salmon dish. You can see why, because it's super, super easy, but light, but also feels really special. And, you know, ingredients are elegant and it's got a little of everything in it. So now you just wanna wilt down the spinach a little bit, add it a little bit more butter just to kind of give it a nice little sheen, a nice velvety texture. I wanna taste the sauce, make sure it doesn't need any more salt. Mmm. A little bit more and we are good to go. All right, time to put the salmon back in here and this dish is done. Look how beautiful that looks. 
Okay, guys, dinner time. Salmon with artichokes, spinach, and sun-dried tomatoes in a white wine sauce. Oh, it looks so good. So how often do you guys get on a boat? As much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> the salmon's delicious. <laughs>